if I knew then what I knew now, what would I do different? That's something I think we can all relate to. If I knew then what I knew now, I'd ask better questions. If I knew then what I knew now, I'd never stop. I'd never stop. I'd maybe only stop to smell the roses, but I'd never stop for anything else. And I'd try to take more people along with me and keep more relationships along with me. Uh, not necessarily relationships with women, but relationships with you know, my platonic friends and family. Keep more people along the way. And I'd, I'd ask better questions amongst who were really my friends when I thought they were my friends. I, I'd say no to more things. I, I thought I could say yes to everything, but I ended up disappointing a lot more people. I ended up letting more people down than I wanted to. I'd fight harder for the things that mattered most to me. I let a lot more shit go, and to be quite frankly, to, to, you know, I'd, I'd focus more on me and less on others because I, I never got my shit together until age 30. And had I focused more on me, I'd be a better asset for other people. And if I knew then what I knew now, I would have went all in on Vine. I would have made Vine content, but I was an elitist and I thought I was better than everybody else that was on Vine because I was a real filmmaker. If I knew then what I knew now, I would have went all in on YouTube, which I did in 2008, but I would have never stopped. You know, you have to know your audience and you have to give them art consistently to grow, to give more, to be a better asset, to be smarter, to, to get more experience. I would have never stopped. I hate stopping and I hate starting over again and I hate being on first base and I hate being on the first lap and I, I hate being at the beginning of a marathon, you know, but once you're at the end, it's victorious. And that's because I've never even ran a marathon. I'm talking about the fucking marathon of life. And I said I wasn't going to curse, but I did. I'd regret, you know, if I knew then what I knew now, I wouldn't curse as much, but I, but I do. And now it's a terrible, terrible habit. If I knew then what I knew now, I'd, I'd, I'd never question my gut. I'd go all in with my gut a hell of a lot more. And I would have tripled down on my gut a hell of a lot more. If I knew then what I knew now, I would have kept my mouth shut a hell of a lot more often and only spoke when I had something very, very intelligent to say. If I knew then what I knew now, I would have never let any one of my cameras go. I would have hoarded and kept every single one of them and been a Casey Neistat about it and hung them up on my wall and given them proper burials and coffins and just kept it, not because I fetishize the material, but because of the ghost in the machine that I wholeheartedly respect and for the love of God, I mean, I pay my bills with art, so... There's just so many cameras that have been long gone and that are like relics to me now and I would have held on to them. If I knew then what I knew now, I would have got a bus ticket to New York and I, never, I would have never looked back. In 2006, the, the creatives and the people that I know that were in New York City at the time, I mean, who knows who I would have rubbed shoulders with, guys like Donald Glover? I mean, I, I have no idea. I, I regret that, you know, but it's one of those, if I knew then what I knew now type things, you know, it's really easy to look back because in hindsight it's 2020, but if I knew then what I knew now, I wouldn't have made my first movie and then been homeless in Austin, Texas in 2012. I would have been homeless if I had to in New York City, in the greatest city on the planet. Because if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. And the contacts that you gain in, in New York City, you'll keep with you for the rest of your life. If I knew then what I knew now, I'd love harder. I'd love harder and I'd be one of those devil's word prototypes and it'd be harder to work with probably, but I think those who love the most and give the most tend to win the most, if I'm being quite frank. And last but not least, off the top of my head, I ain't got nothing written down here. Just a little note on my iCloud that says, if I knew then what I knew now, and I just started ranting because I don't have that much time, I gotta go. But if I knew then what I knew now, you know, come to think of it, I wouldn't change one stupid decision for another five years of life. I don't regret anything. I know now what I know now because of it. Does that make sense? If you like this art, feel free to buy it. You know, uh, we have it in vinyl, peel and stick. We have it in canvas right here. Check it out, Flipside Canvas. My name is Knives Monroe. Follow me on Instagram. Um, if you like what you see, the type of stuff that I do. I'm doing Instagram content, whether if it's for the stories or what if it's one by one square with the subtitles. I love doing that, I do that on the side. If that's something you wanna do, my email, my phone number is on my Instagram. So if you're serious about that, put that in the subject title and we can work something out. 
Um, I take Facebook Pay, I take Venmo, I take the Cash App, I take PayPal. So let's work something out. I don't care where you're from, what side of the planet you are. I want to help and I can never say no to work. And uh, if you like what you see and you want to see more, subscribe because I'm not going anywhere. If I knew then what I knew now, I would have never stopped YouTube, that's for sure. But here we are. It's 2018, October 3rd and ain't no stopping me now.